Now in this video, we're gonna have a deep look at Harmony. Now, for those of you that don't already know, we've been in this for since the start of March, and I'm gonna to explain to you the price action that's ha happening currently and where price could potentially go next. So make sure you stick around for the whole video so you can get those gems. And as always, we do drop gems, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, click the bell notification icon so you can stay up to date on all my recent videos. Remember, guys, nothing that you see in this video is financial advice. So always, always make sure to do your own research. Let's get into the video. So what's Harmony? Harmony is a blockchain-based platform built to solve the riddle. And we all know the, rid the riddle of delivering both a scalability and a uh, decentralization at no expense of one another so there is a, a huge uh, uh, problem with scalability in the blockchain space although i mean the only project that's coming you know close or that's actually in the top 10 that's solving this issue is polka dot um now with that being said I'm not going to bore you guys to death with the fundamental analysis. You're here for the technicals and where price could potentially go next and where price is now. So let me get straight to it and break this down. So firstly, as you can see, we've been pretty much on a bull run since the start of the year. And as always, guys, this is not a surprise because pretty much all cryptocurrencies have uh, made a move to the upside. But what's a bit different with um, this particular cryptocurrency is the percentage gain that's over a thousand percent so far since the start of the year which is quite a large move now you're probably thinking wow have i missed the opportunity what's going on guys this is only at 11 cents only at 11 cents so it's still very 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 early on in this crypt cryptocurrencies journey and for those of you that believe this is another high market cap high you know with a high supply coin supply project it's actually not which makes this a lot more attractive because so i'll show you this guys out let's go quickly and have a deep look at some of the metrics here so as you can see the actual market cap itself is only there we go 1.1 billion now I say only 1.1 billion. The reason why I say only is because if you've been in the crypto space for quite some time and you kind of understand the rhythm and the, the momentum that the cryptocurrency space is having, this is not a huge market cap, especially for the type of project that this is and the problems it's solving. So I do expect this to increase over time. Um, and of course, guys, the circulating supply is only 9.2 billion. Uh, that's circulating supply with total supply at 12.9 billion. Um, so, guys, not a huge uh, supply, which is good, especially if you're looking for, um, you know, your standard, typical uh, price jumps, right? So, for example, if this was 100 billion, then, of course, we would need more players in the game for price to actually get to certain levels, so whether that's $1, $2, etc. So, I do see this hitting that, you know, $2, $3 mark quite comfortably. And again, guys, it's not financial advice. This is just what I believe. Now, let's get into the price action. As you can see, uh, pretty much gone in a straight line. And from the monthly time frame, this is pretty much bullish. And again, I'm, we don't want to pay too much attention to that just because as we all, as we're all aware, the market is across the board is going up. So there's two things that we have to look at. Number one, the project does this project have value and what i mean by that is when the music stops and all the cryptocurrencies sell off does this have the potential to recover now once you can answer that question then you can figure out where price could potentially go in the future so as you can see there's not a lot of price data so this hasn't actually experienced a bear market yet so that means it hasn't yet been tested right that's just from a long-term perspective so i do want to see that as you know as someone that's actually in this project i do want to see how this uh, perform during the bear cycle and how much is recovered by so i can make more of an informed decision but because it's fairly new, it came after the uh, bear cycle, 
was that a coincidence or was that just a strategic move from the creators? Probably a strategic move. And as you can see, there's no test at the moment. But do I believe the project is meeting a need uh, uh, in the market? Yes, I do. So that ticks the box. And number two, where is the market cap? Right. We can't just pay attention to where price is now. Let's look at the market cap. So we always want to look at the market cap and then determine what we believe the valuation of this project could be within the next five to 10 years. Right. Because, guys, I like to look at the long term. I'm not really you know, interested in the quick, you know, pump and dump, etc. If I want day trade profits, I'd go to the stock or foreign exchange market for that. I'm looking for great projects that have the potential to scale. Now, could I take uh, some profits along the way? I'm gonna get into that on another video, but make sure you stick around because I might mention a bit in the end. So as you can see, we bought here. So let me just go over where we bought. We bought on the 5th of March. So let's just go to the 5th of March. There we are. So like I said, very, very cheap. Uh, price that's just uh, three cents we bought at three cents so since that move price has gone up let's see there we go price has gone up 248 percent so that's a great percentage increase for us i mean we're not complaining and we do believe that price could before the end of this month hit at least uh, 20 cents so that's our end of month uh, target for this project, which is another 69%. And I'm gonna explain how we got to that uh, pretty soon. Uh, let's just, again, let me just highlight this so you guys do not, uh, do not forget. Highlight that for you. So this is our end of uh, month uh, target area. And of course, guys, we're already in this. So that's just another 69% added to our 250 percent so you do have to keep that in mind <clears throat> but let's say you're completely uh, uh new and you did not enter at all or you're looking for an entry it all depends on how you value this project if you're in this for a day trade then buying at an all-time high is never wise right that's like a cardinal sin right you never want to buy a project at an all-time high is typically you want to wait for a pullback. But when did the pullback happen? The pullback happened mid-March, around the 15th, price pulled back. And let's see that pullback was, um, there we go, 30%. And then we saw price rally to the upside. Now, I could pull out my Fibonacci, etc., and figure out where price did pull to. I'm guessing that's the 38.2 level. And as you can see, price is man, moving to the upside. Um, and on, like I said, end of month target is 20 cents. And I'm basing that on my Fibonacci extension. So my Fibonacci extension, this would be my end of uh, uh, month target. And also I'm just judging by the market cap as well. I do believe that we can hit at least 1.5 to 2 billion uh, market cap before the end of this month. And again, that is depending on the money that is poured into the space as well. If there's not much liquidity in the market over cryptocurrency space, then we can't really expect this uh, project to move to the upside as well. Although I must say a lot of low cap coins are, are acting as great hedges against some of the major projects like Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, etc. So that's, but again, we're still in a growth phase. We're still in a price discovery phase. So to be honest with you, trying to plot out, um, you know, end of year targets and etc. right now, doesn't really make much sense, especially on this project because we haven't seen a lot of price action as you guys can see. There's not a lot of price actions to take note of. Um, so using your standard technical analysis as well, it's not really gonna be that effective on this chart. So what we have to use is number one, the project's uh, scalability. So as you can see, if you want more information, you just go to the website. And I also had a deep look at its partnership. I always do that for these kind of project guys. I wanna see who's backing this project. I have a look at the founding team. I look at some of the work they've done before and then some of their credentials. Um, and as you can see, ecosystem and partners, the Binance, you know, pretty much on all the major exchanges, Ledger, 
Guardian staked, etc. Do you see any big names? Uh, and as you can see, global investors. Let's have a look at that. Okay, perfect. So if you want a more in-depth look, just go to the website, but it's important to make sure that you do it, you're doing this, you're doing your homework when looking at these projects, especially when you're looking at altcoins, right? You, you know, the last thing you want is to have your money uh, sitting in a project that is not really worth anything, it's not backed by anything, and it has no real credentials behind it. But with that being said, when others are fearful, be greedy, when others are greedy, be fearful. And as always, guys, at the moment, I don't see greed, I don't see fear, although could we say this is greed? Potentially. But I just still believe this project hasn't got the eyeballs on it uh, that's, that it currently should have, which is why, again, and again, this is a small portion of my holdings anyway, so I'll be holding this for the long term and just watching this play out over the... Uh, I'm, like I said, I'm in this for the long term. I do want to see how it behaves in the bull cycle. So I don't believe I'm going to sell off any of my holdings anytime soon. But with that being said, guys, seize the day.